When I think of Ghana, when I think of the continent, I think of it as a place with a beauty, with a depth that isn't always uplifted. With my family and they thought that this year was the year to return, as many others are returning, specifically in 2019, because it is 400 years later, after the enslavement of our people, the ships leaving um, the coast of Ghana and the coast of uh, other places throughout Africa. Um, it is really an opportunity to connect with my roots, to learn a history that's frankly not taught in schools. It's written about in books, but you can't capture that. You can't capture that in a book. And it, it really took me walking through the dungeons because we grew up learning them as castles, right? But castles are, they're beautiful, they're, they're glorious. There's, there are great things that are happening in castles. And there were awful things, horrific things that happened um, in those dungeons. To hear the stories and to see the separation of children, of women, of men, to see spaces underground where they couldn't even stand up, to stand in, in the dark rooms with just a bit of light, a bit of air, to be in a room where I could still smell the stench um, of feces, frankly. Years later, hundreds, hundreds of years later, you can still smell it. Right? Because you can't, you can't clean that. The conditions were, they were awful. So when I thought of that, I just envisioned their strength to be able to survive that. To be able to survive that. And that's not the story that's, that's always told. When you think of people who were enslaved, it's almost as if they were a weak people, an inferior people. But to be able to survive that, <laughs> that is strength. Being back here makes me feel complete. It makes me feel like a part of me that was missing, a part of my life experience that was missing has been filled in. I don't know what my journey would be like if this moment had not happened. It has given me a deeper sense of purpose to go back um, and tell all of my friends, everyone that I know, that if they haven't touched the motherland, if they haven't been to Africa, they need to come specifically they need to come to Ghana. I love my motherland. This is the year for time.